Yeah, I, I do think donors are starting to be more careful in their giving than we've seen in years past. Um, there's been this tendency to, to kind of think of the alma mater and to just kind of give without too much thought. Donors don't do the same level of research that they do on other nonprofits as when they give to their alma mater. Um, I think nostalgia is a really hard thing to fight against. Um, but we're seeing donors start to really give thoughtfully, and part of that giving thoughtfully is doing that research. So doing their homework about um, what's being taught today, who are the professors doing great work, what are the policies in place about free expression? We know that's something that's important to many donors. So I think the, the first step is to be really clear in what it is that you hope to achieve. Um, so to go in with a clarity of vision and then to partner with us and we'll kind of work through that, um, identify partners on campus that might be the best fit for what it is that you're trying to do. And you might have to look in some unexpected places. Um, so there's one donor that we helped who wanted to endow a chair in free market economics originally thinking the College of Arts and Sciences, but working through the process discovered that the business school was a much better fit. Um, so it requires some creativity. So being clear in your purpose, finding the right partners who share that vision, and then making sure that everything is really clearly articulated in a um, ironclad gift agreement. And that's especially where I think the Fund for Academic Renewal can be helpful to donors. FAR is working with a lot of major donors, but I think we shouldn't underestimate the power that even kind of smaller and mid-level donors can have too. There's a way that you're voting with your donation about the direction that your alma mater goes. So I think for too long we've seen alumni just, you know, every year send in that check for X amount just to the general fund, um, and yet we see higher education kind of getting worse and worse, at least the, the things that ACT is talking about. So I think that we should really encourage donors of all levels to leverage their giving, that even those small checks can make a difference, that you know, the, the 500 check that you're writing just to the general fund, maybe you could direct that to a program that you really care about. So I would encourage donors at all levels, not just the mega donors, to really be thoughtful in how they give to higher ed. Mm -hmm.